Hello everyone, Katie Wheeler, your remote instruction coordinator here, today talking about using annotation tools in the remote classroom. I personally love using annotation tools when I'm trying to emphasize a step-by-step -step process where I want individuals to click on a link or to highlight in a document where they might be going. I also use this if I'm highlighting something on my PowerPoint slides or on a document that I'm working with. These annotation tools are very easy to use in both Zoom and WebEx. First, we'll take a look at Zoom, then WebEx, and the process is very similar. This is a Zoom session I have open here. I'm going to start by sharing a D2L page. And let's say that I'm trying to show students where to go to click on our classroom. If I want to bring up those annotation tools, I move my mouse across the top of the screen. You do this in both Zoom and WebEx, and you'll see that annotate button there. When you click on it, you have these tools that open. Some things I want to highlight here first is the mouse option in both WebEx and Zoom. If you need to navigate on your page, make sure you click on mouse. If you are in the draw option and you try to scroll up and down, it won't work for you. So you'll want to make sure you select the mouse if you need to move or click on something on the page. The way that I like to emphasize things for students is by using this draw option. And I'll use a line that is a little thicker so individuals can see it, and they'll see that more than just my mouse. I also choose a color that's very bright. You can see I have the bright pink selected here, and I choose a very thick line so it's easy to see. I might tell individuals, hey, you wanna make sure that you scroll down and I'll switch over to my mouse and actually scroll down. If I want to clear this arrow now, I can say clear all drawings and then I can go back to draw and select something new that says here, we're going to click on this link. It's an easy way to emphasize what's on this page right here and shows individuals where to go. This means on their screen, that's exactly what they see with those annotation tools. Now I'm going to clear all drawings so that will clear it off of the page. And I'm going to stop sharing here because I'm done with the zoom aspect of this. What I want to show you is how easy this is to do in WebEx. Here I am in my WebEx session. I'm going to go ahead and share my D2L. And as I said before, when you scroll across the top, you'll see that annotate option. Now the options for your annotation tools come up on the left-hand side in WebEx, and you still have that mouse button that you can choose if you need to scroll up and down the page. But here is that pen that I like to use, the pen tool. So you'll see it come up where you start annotating. And again, you can circle something, highlight something on the page. You can even change the color if you feel you need a little brighter color or a darker color. That way individuals know exactly where to look. These tools are easy to use. They're great for marking something up on a page or drawing attention to it. And as I said earlier, you can use them in both Zoom and WebEx. If you need to practice this skill or have questions about the remote classroom, remember you can reach me, Katie Wheeler, at remote.instruction at ppcc.edu.